So we've seen for the last couple weeks the Ultra Series sticks showing up on social media. And today I'm gonna to be shooting a breakdown video of the features, the statistics behind these bad boys. And I gotta say, they are gonna be a hot commodity come fall. I think some guys are really gonna like these. So starting things out, I have both the singles and the doubles with me here today. And obviously from everything that's been teased is the stackability feature on these is like the hot item. They, uh, they do stack both, you can see here, kind of in a more horizontal, limited profile fashion. And they also will go ahead and stack in your traditional oh, vertical method. But uh, the key feature that seems to be popular is this sliding locking mechanism that will then hold those sticks together. There is a break-in period. Um, when I first got them, they were a lot stiffer to slide. And you can see this one slides a little stiffer than this one that's kind of ready to go. All right, guys. So one easy way to kind of loosen this guy up that I have found as far as a break-in is just taking a flathead and kind of bending that plastic piece. But now I've got really... The sideways stacking ability of the, this stick, you do want to flip them over, whether it be the singles or the doubles. They like to go opposite directions. I found it a lot easier working with these sticks is to almost place them on the ground and give you another point of contact and then slide them together and then go ahead and finish the job. That being said, it is uh, these are held together real stout now. They're not coming apart. Uh, to separate the sticks from this like horizontal stacking position, it does require what I call like a little bit of a break-in period. Singles are a little easier to get apart because you can almost set your handles and then pull them apart. The doubles, it takes a little more force. I found that separating them just a tad. Something I did here on this set of sticks is you'll notice I took off the uh, slide lock bracket uh, on one of these sticks. So now there's essentially only one bracket holding them together. Or I take the other end here and I almost just kind of pull them apart and that made no noise, which was kind of cool. Um, I do find it still super like beneficial to put them on the ground to clamp them back together. Um, obviously there's a little noise there, but I think this is the route to transport and then even maybe a Oh, some sort of tighten st strap or gear tie around all three or four sticks, whatever you determine. But again, you can see here, I kind of just separate those a little bit and then just... And so that's kind of nice that how quiet those detach. I would not hesitate to run these sticks um, and just have one, one bracket every other one. So let's go over dimensions on the double step stick here. Uh, the whole tube itself is 18 inches and step to set step is like 16 and a half. You still have the pivoting V bracket, uh, so the, the grip on the trees is excellent. Also, you've got a full flat top here for your boot as far as like saddle hunting or guys just getting maximum boot uh, space. It's, it's a nice flat surface here. So I did go ahead and weigh these on my bathroom scale where I stand on it, gather, you know, get my weight, gather a couple sticks and do the old plus minus uh, before and after, and I got, so oh, I did it three times to kind of give you guys a, an average. And, and per stick, I got 2.28, 2.36, 2.35. So I got to believe just over two pounds, uh, plus or minus 10% or whatever, is where they're going to come out to be. Uh, I will say these are final prototype sticks that I've been given to, to, to test and give my opinions on. You know, I wanted to take a pause in the video and look at weight for a quick section. second. A handful of research, and you hear a lot of the Western guys talk about getting that weight close to the body. Your body's a fulcrum. Just like when you take a dumbbell and hold it here, it doesn't feel that heavy, but if you extend your arm, that gets heavy quick. And the ability of these XOP sticks to kind of have a side profile and a packing dimension of more around the five and a half inch mark, I threw a quick uh, spreadsheet after looking at fulcrum, dimensional, math, and, and force weight, uh, essentially, is what it comes out to. And it's funny that these sticks, despite being more around the, the, the over two pound mark, 
in a carry method actually scored very good as far as some others on the market. So I threw together actually a quick comparison here on the on a spreadsheet that looks at the Hawk sticks, the Novik sticks, and the Lone Wolf custom gear sticks. Now obviously the custom gear sticks stack such a minimal profile, they're not even in the same game as those others. And But this stick actually, despite being heavier than those other uh, couple sticks, carries lighter because of its smaller profile. Uh, we know these sticks can pack horizontal and we're designed to do that. So, so it really kind of gives them a nod. Uh, if you are a weight guru guy, I think you should definitely consider the, the packability and close to your fulcrum, if you will. So we're here the next day. Let's go ahead and do a height test. And what I'm gonna do is run them blank, no cable aider, and then I'll go ahead and throw a cable aider on all four and give you guys two quick height tests. Um, and you can go plus or minus. I'm gonna try and put my platform somewhere around nine inches above my last stick. I like to step upward. And I do try and stretch just a touch on the first stick, but after that, I'm not taking any major risk as far as uh, hanging a stand. As you can see, I was able to do the buckleless method, which is great. Uh, less noise, less weight. So I think for testing purposes, we need to add about six inches because I can easily get another six inches on this first stick, um, but I'm not gonna re -hand. There you go, right around 14 foot, add six inches, let's call it 14 and a half, which matches what I did, I think, with the Lone Wolf Custom Gear Minis uh, a couple years back. So let's go ahead and I'll run this on the uh, cable aiders. Wanted to note, I think you can bend these even a little more just to give you a better boot clearance. Um, sticking out from the tree. So with the cable aiders, I was able to get to 19.2 and that's getting up there pretty good. I'm just able to be so much more aggressive on that first stick. And then I just think the cumulative effect of essentially making this a three-step stick. Uh, so pretty good score there. As far as like climbability, I'm gonna score these really high. They, they, they grab on that tree really well. Uh, this tree's got a, just a slight twist to the right. Um, plenty of boot space. I'm wearing 11. Let me get a little side profile. So saddle guys, if you would want to put this next to your saddle, you got a lot of room there. There's virtually zero flex on that bottom, at least at my weight. Um, at the top, I noticed just a little bit of left to right on the top step. Um, pretty stout but definitely a little and one final thing i wanted to show you guys was that they put this bolt here for very easy install the cable waders you know you don't have to get into the v-bracket as much um which will be super nice so you can see here i've got four of them stacked in the traditional method four is a lot um i will say this is pretty secure so it can be done maybe if you know, you're hunting a farm or a public piece and don't have like a backpack or whatever, you're just gonna go throw a stand up. I don't think I'd hesitate on this method. Um, obviously if you were going three, it would definitely shrink the profile. So in my quick mess around here in the garage, um, this seems to be the method that I like the most for, for this is, there's three of them on here. I actually ran into the, uh, I was gonna do the fourth stick, but I wanna take off that other clamp, I think, to, to kind of run this, because then I can stack them even better, I think. Um, but note here that this, you know, horizontal profile only sticks off the platform maybe an inch and a half. Uh, so you're still well within the, the size of the, the platform. As far as this on your back, it's not sticking too much out. And then you still get the advantage of only having, you know, Oh, what is this? Like a three, three inch profile. Plenty of room for a bag, extra layers on this thing. I really like uh, how this packs. Pretty secure, and you gotta even think, I would take one more either bungee system or cinch type strap guy for my bag and my layers uh, for majority of my bow hunts, late October, November. Overall, I'm actually super impressed with this uh, from XOP. Obviously in the past, they had some of the heavier sticks on the market, but they had an attachment method to the stand. They started to show some of the system uh, back in the day, being able to attach them to the sticks, sticks to sticks attached. So, you know, seeing this come out from XOP, you still get a lot of that system type features, but at a 
budget kind of price. And, and honestly, with how these carry, how these climb, I think some of those mid-tier sticks on the market are in trouble. I think this is a great option for guys that are looking to get into something. Um, obviously, guys running trail cams, they like a two-step stick as well. So now XOP has a smaller uh, profile stick to do that kind of uh, stuff with. You know, I think this has a lot of wins uh, overall. Packing the, the side profile is huge just from what that carries like on, on a weight perspective. And definitely would recommend them. I, I give this, this exceeds expectations from XOP. Um, and definitely a, a stick to consider on the market uh, if you're not going to get the super high-end uh, brands out there. Guys, good luck this fall. If you like this channel, please hit the subscribe button. My film should be dropping here very soon. So last year's Public Land Buck, uh, that should be out here very soon. I appreciate you guys watching. Team Harder and Bucks, we're out.